Oh, fuck. Where the fuck um, were we? We were talking Shin Megami. <laughs> uh, Danganronpa, I guess? Yes! The best yeah. game in the world is coming to <laughs> Switch, and it's, um... Fuck, where am I on, the, on my time codes? I wasn't paying attention. Uh, one! Wait, no, shit, wrong key. I don't know how to type right now. Uh, yeah, they announced Danganronpa is coming to the Switch. It's a collection of four games. It is Danganronpa 1, 2, V3. Danganronpa 3 is a very different thing. Um, I wish more people would play Danganronpa V3 so I could explain that in greater detail, because mm, I don't want to spoil it. But I can't it, nod it's, hard enough. It, it's so dumb in the smartest way possible. That that specific thing. Am I am I am I thinking of the wrong game? Isn't Danganronpa where you're like rolling around with a giant ball and like you're collecting things? Is that rolling around that, at the speed of sound in a ball? That that's Sonic. No, like where you're pushing a ball. You're talking talking about Katamari Damacy. Never mind. I was thinking of the wrong game. Katamari is completely different than Danganronpa. You, you, you can also consider that <laughs> Super Monkey Ball. You, you're in a ball rolling around. True. Maybe not the speed of sound, but you know. <laughs> but yeah. <it's>, I, uh, <laughs> honestly, I think I think the only JRPG or or like the the only like Japanese style games that I could get into was obviously Kingdom Hearts, uh, and um, freaking uh, Tales of the Abyss back in the day, uh, and also Tale Tales of Berseria, I believe I played, uh, mm -hmm. and then the new Tales game is coming out, which is I think Tales Arise or mm -hmm. Tales of Arise or something like that. I might check it out. We'll see. Well, for what it's worth, Corey. Uh... Danganronpa is not a JRPG, which means it's not for nerds. It, it is a visual novel detective uh, Phoenix Wright-like game, so it means it's only for chats. Oh, uh, okay. Never mind. I, I wasn't into those either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's all good, but yeah, it's 1-2-V3, uh, and uh, I guess it's called S Ultimate uh, Summer Camp, which all, all the Danganronpa games, they have these weird little post games where you can... This little mini game so you can grind out uh getting these these conversations for characters because you will not have the time to get them in uh in the base game because people have a tendency to be allergic to death um so might not be able to finish talking to someone if they die pretty early on mm -hmm. um and by might i mean they definitely will um oh. yeah thank it was Danganronpa at the moment is available on pc uh playstation or, tech, or PS4 and uh, PSP slash Vita. But I would highly recommend Danganronpa to everyone. Even if visual novels aren't necessarily your thing, they weren't necessarily my thing before. Um, it's a good mystery mur murder story. It's very wacky. It goes places. I really wish people would play V3 because there's not enough people out there to talk to about it. And Atma, you and me got to have a... We, we got to get people playing that. We got to have a spoiler cast. Yeah, we have to talk about places. V3. I'm, but I'm also, call... 2 has one of the best characters in gaming of all time. Oh, so. yes. Are, are you talking? We, we can say name Nagito. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, there we go. We we need to convince more people to, to, to play it so we can have a spoiler cast. Because oh, even that name. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I don't think Blaine's listening right now. Um. I I put up a very out of context spoiler thing. Like no one could have realistically known where it was coming from. I did it in just like the, the description. Don't spoil. I I will not spoil it. But the description I did was so outlandish. No one could possibly have guessed where it comes from. And people just need to play Ding and Rampa. That's all I'll say. <laughs> um, it's so beautiful. <laughs> So uh, I know that Sarah would kill me if I didn't uh, read off her notes for um, Final Fantasy Origins. Oh, we have um, we have one more real quick. OK. Um, and the, I know I know Kyle would, would murder me if I did not bring this up. Uh, I almost, Why did I almost say Kevin? It's Kyle. <laughs> Kevin, Kyle. I'll call them both. Um, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 coming to Switch. People love Tony Hawk. Uh, CJ, if you're still listening. I, I know you're in love with Tony Hawk. There we go. Tony See, Hawk is really fun. I have it on my PlayStation 4. I, I, well, you may have Tony Hawk on your PlayStation 4. I have Tony Hawk in my soul. 
Oh, do you? Yes. Okay. I don't even know what Tony Hawk looks like, so I, <laughs> I believe CJ at one point said Tony Hawk is like on the on the list of top ten white people to ever exist. <laughs> it's funny because people in real life literally will run into Tony Hawk and and say, Hey, you know who you look like? You look like that Tony Hawk guy. And and he just like literally he's so funny. He he literally just rolls like he's like, huh, that's weird. <laughs> you know, or so, you know, or something like that, and because he's like, he's just done telling people, like, I, yeah. I, I really am, because he's told people straight to their face, like, oh yeah, I, I am Tony Hawk, and and they're like, no, you're not. No. <laughs> it, is no, it yeah. weird that my immediate visual image of Tony Hawk is old Tony Hawk? I don't even remember what young Tony Hawk looks like. I don't either. I don't. He just, I mean, he looks the same. I imagine just more wrinkles. That's pretty much it. Like. Yeah. He, he's, he comes off as a chill dude. I, I would love to meet him. Kyle, I almost said Kevin again. Kyle has met Tony Hawk. I'm very envious of that. Don't know about <laughs> his brother, Mike, though. Yeah. Um, 